Hello there, and welcome to my video. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of the more useful weapons that you can get pretty early in the game, and it does a lot of damage overall. You don't even need the arcane for it, personally, in my opinion, but the arcane does do a lot of damage. So, our test dummies are going to be these a level 140 steel path enemies. As you can see, it does a lot of damage to them. They didn't get instantly one shot. That's stuff that... It does like a lot of damage for the most part. So we can just kill these guys. Kill them. And I can show you what it basically does to a basic version of the soldier. This is just to show you if you want. You can skip ahead to the part where it has the build. I won't do it. As you see, it just instantly melts them. This is because it's ticking Arcane Influence, which is the top... Which is a... Yeah, sorry, I can't speak properly. Um, which is a really good weapon. The Arcane that has basically been met one of the more OP Arcanes in the game currently. Anyways, this is the build. We got two sacrificial pressures, Gladiator Might for the more crit damage, Orchid Cheddar for more crit damage, Corrupted Charge to have that combo, initial combo. Now, I have this here for the fact that when I do the explosion, it will do more damage. As you can see, 120% melee damage on heavy attack, plus I more wind-up speed. We don't care about this stat, out of this, we care about this one. But if you're so worried about, if you have a primed version, by the way, um, sorry if I stuttered there real quick. Um, if you have a primed version of Fever Strike, use that. It will give you way more damage than you are going to get from this. Or you can just go for a pure electric one. You can either go for that. I'm doing this so it can give this toxin proc which will cause corrosive on the bounce attack and on the heavy attack it will do instant corrosive which will sh melt most enemies but if you don't wanna you can of course do basically shocking touch which will give you more electric damage which will cause them to explode more this one right here will cause them to instantly if not automatically get tick the, you know, arcane influence. So, obviously, you're going to probably have this on as well. If you want, you can shock and touch. You're going to probably want to use four forma for this. Maybe more, if you want to add a little more stuff. But for the most part, you will mostly be using four forma for this build. And once again, I'm going to demonstrate to you. Enemies. Instantly props. By the way, fun fact, I sh most people don't know about this, by the way, is that if melee influence by itself um, straight up can be triggered by Volt's um, augment, which is a uh, shock trooper. So if you have that and you don't have electric proc on your weapon, don't worry, slap on shock trooper and uh, you will literally just inc do the damage. Is straight up just the easiest stuff I've ever done. And if you have a high a tick damage weapon, yeah. Anyways, that's the video. This is Zorus. It's a really good weapon. I personally have been using it for ever since it came out. And yeah. Also, since it's Christmas Eve, Eve and basically going to be Christmas tomorrow, I wish you all ha a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So. See ya.